Yo, I'm Six Nut Seven. Today I'm going to show you in this website episode of Dreamer Website Building how to create a website layout. So this is the layout where we have our two sides of our border of our website just completely blank, and it has like this streamlined look down the middle with a header part, a main paragraph part, and a footer part as well as it being like this where as we move it it automatically adjusts to be always in the centre of our window so that's what we're going to be doing today in this episode so the first thing we're going to create is called the container so that was the bit here as you can see where the header, paragraph and the footer all fit in which was this these sides all enclosed inside and that's the also the thing that affects this being central all the time so that's what we're going to be creating first. So what we're going to do is come over to Dreamweaver, go to CSS styles up here, and down below you should see like a page with black plus. Just click that, and then it says select a type, click class, and when we put enter a name in the top one, you want to change that and type container, and it should um, automate for description, and then click OK. And as you can see, it creates a dot container CSS rule over here, and now what we want to do first is go down to box and this is like the shape of this box that holds all that information and what we want the width to be is 960 which is quite a nice width for the page click apply and then the thing that made this automatically adjust to center was this margin thing well, it says here same margin it's the same for take that off and then top leave that blank bottom leave that blank and then right and left we want to put those to auto click apply and then click OK and now that's our container tag the next thing I'm going to create is the header box so that's where the header will go at the top so what we're going to do is going to again click that page with a plus leave it on class again and type header click OK and now we're not going to put any information to this because in a later episode where we put the header image in that will automatically adjust the size of it so we don't need to touch that but that's basically your header now we're going to do the same thing but for content so that's the main bit where this information will go so we're going to click that plus page again class and type content click OK and now what we're going to do is go down to box and for padding we're going to put 10 so this is where the font will be right again, won't be right against the side of this thing but we'll have like 10 pixels in so it looks quite nice so click apply click OK and that's your content tag. That's what we've got to define is our footer. So that's the bit at the bottom where we put like copyright and stuff. So we're going to type into the class again class and type into the name sorry footer. Click OK and now one thing we want to do is going to change the pattern to one. Now the reason why we put it as one is just so the like the, the content we don't want it the copyright to be right against the side of it. We want a bit of leeway going inside. So we click apply on that, click OK, and that's basically all our main tags defined. Now we're actually going to input these tags, as we call them, as we created, these div tags as they're known, into our content. And the easiest way to do this is in the code tab. So it might seem complicated, but it pretty much is easy. So we want to go and find the body bit. So it should be below the head and all these styles that we've created, so the header and the container and stuff. And basically after the body and before the first hex you put in, click enter and put bracket div div class, click enter or double click class and it gives you a list of our classes. And the first thing we want to do is container. So we double click container, close that. And now what we want to do is to go to the very end, so just after our information but before the end body tag and click bracket slash and that's, that's ended our container tag and now inside the container tag the first thing we want to put in obviously is the header so we do div again class enter find header and close that and then we want to reclose that because we're not going to put anything in there just yet and then after this we want to put the div class content bracket on there and then after our information we want to close that again and then the very last one we want to do is div class footer and then we're going to end that as well because we're not going to put information in that just yet and as you can see it's formatted so we can see our things 
been all the information to put inside this box. We've got our header box which we'll be filling in future episodes and we've got our footer one which we'll do in a second. And if we click this earth here and click preview in and your internet they've got here. So I've got Chrome, open that. Let's wait for it to load. It should load in one second. And yeah, so it's loading. And what we'll see is the information is in its box, but we don't actually see the box, so this jag D line we won't actually see. And to test test that the central line works, we're just gonna drag this about. And it does work. So they see the text automatically centers itself to the window until it gets to a point where it can't actually center itself anymore and it just stays where it is. So now we know all our dig tasks work and all the information that we put into it actually works. The last thing we're going to do, which isn't actually to do with uh, the website layout, is actually putting the information of our footer. So what usually we put here is first go into code, find the div class footer and the end one that goes with it and to put a space in between it. And now we want to put copyright. The copyright logo, so I found it in character map, select it, copy it, paste that in, copyright, and now we want to type in, uh, oh, before this, we want to put a P, a paragraph tab, just so it affects it's like written out properly. So we put copyright and then 2012, and then our name, so seek star 97, end paragraph tag, and if we go into here, we can see the things put it's, it's the copyrights worked and the names put in and it's a paragraph so it follows the font and stuff. If we go into preview in Chrome, yes to save. And as you see we've got our footer here, which is distinguished from the others because it's slightly more out and it's at the very bottom obviously. Thanks for watching yet another episode of Dreamy Website Button by me. If you liked it, then like it. If you've got any more questions, put that in the comment section below. And if you want a live feed on your main YouTube page of the new episodes and when they're up, which should be every three or four days or five, I'm not sure right now, then subscribe to my channel because that's what will happen. And it helps me a lot if you subscribe so then I've got more some support and some more fans so it gives me more reason to carry on with these tutorials. And yeah, thanks for watching.